On today's show, we're going to Africa. Hi, my name is Dr. Fitz, you know, the wildlife guy. And you're watching another episode of Fitz Wildlife Adventures. Thank you for joining me on another adventure. Today's show is extra, extra, extra cool. You know why? We're talking about a very unique and beautiful animal. Can you guess what it is? Here's a hint. They have stripes. And I'm not talking about a tiger. I'm talking about the zebra. That's right. We're going to Africa on today's show and talk about the zebra and other types of animals. So please, don't go anywhere. Are you ready? I'm ready. Well, let's do this. On today's show, we're going to Africa. Africa is a huge continent full of beautiful people, animals, plant life. It is the motherland. Check out these beautiful kids playing right in front of the camera. These are future scientists, doctors, engineers. I just love it. Now, of course, Africa is full of all types of cool animals like the rhinoceros. These animals are magnificent. Then there's the African lion the king of the jungle, king of the beast. We'll go back to them later. But today's show, we're talking about the zebra. That's right, zebras. Now, of course, zebras are related to a very familiar animal that everybody knows and sees before, the domestic horse. The domestic horse has been in movies, TV shows, in every one of our lives. And some of us even actually had a chance to buy them. These animals are domesticated. But as far as zebras and horses, even though they are very similar, they're also very different. Because zebras are wild. Zebras cannot be domesticated. Many have tried and many have failed. Some people may have zebras as personal pets, but overall, zebras, like I said, cannot be domesticated. The life of a zebra is very, very dangerous because you have lions and other top predators who feed on zebras. Now, in Africa, many predators love to catch and eat zebras. Predators like the lion, the hyenas, African wild dogs and other predators. So zebras are always on the lookout because they don't want to become lunch or dinner. But zebras, even though they look very cute and very docile, when it comes to escaping from predators, zebras have a very, very good defense mechanism. For one thing, they're very fast. That's right, zebras are fast. So that's one way that they defend themselves from predators. Another way is that as they're being chased, if they feel like a predator is getting close, they actually will kick their back legs up. And that type of movement can sometimes break the jaws or different bones of predators like lions and hyenas. Now, unfortunately, some zebras do get caught and eaten by lions and hyenas and stuff. But a lot of them do get away because of their speed and power. Now, zebras like to travel in herds similar to the wildebeest. And most of the time, you will see wildebeest, zebras, antelopes, all migrating together because there are safety in numbers. That's why animals 
want to be in a herd. That's why birds want to be in a flock. It's for protection. Wildebeest and zebras do get along because they're not natural enemies. They don't eat each other. You can just look at a zebra's face and see a horse or even a donkey. But like I said, these are wild animals that cannot be domesticated. I just love the black and white pattern. Now, I want to talk about my Instagram. I want all y'all to go on your phones right now. Go to Instagram and become a follower of mine. You can find me at Dr. Fitz underscore wildlife and become a follower. 